a lone beautiful family. So, in keeping with our running SHTF theme of breathing issues, today, uh, this morning, we're going to make a nasal spray for an SHTF situation. Again, I will repeat it. I am not a physician. This is not medical advice. While you can seek medical attention, please do so. Now, as for me and my house, we're going to use our saline solution created right here in our home as a nasal spray. We have our measuring cup. We got our amber, or I keep saying amber. We have our uh, cobalt blue bottles, glass bottles that we bought from Amazon to put our solution in. We have our um, alkaline water with a pH balance of 7.6, pink Himalayan salt, tea tree, frankincense, and baking soda. So let's get started with putting together our nasal spray. So we're going to need eight ounces of water. So I have my half a cup measuring measuring uh, cup here. I'm going to use this twice to get to my eight ounces of water. Oops, I spilled a little bit. Okay. So that's our eight ounces of water and we're going to need half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. This is our half a teaspoon. And now we're going to need for baking soda, a pinch of baking soda. So let me get my container. Okay, so to give a measurement, I have half a teaspoon here and it's uh, I'm just going to use a tad bit of what's in this half a teaspoon. I just needed something to get it out of the container with without using my hands. If you wanted a measurement, I would use half of half a teaspoon. Okay. So I'm just going to give this a quick mix. And then we're going to add in our oils, our essential oils, our tea tree, and our frankincense. And it's five drops of the frankincense and three drops of our tea tree. Of course, frankincense helps to open and soothe our, our nasal passages as well as our bronchial passages. So that's why we're adding our frankincense besides it is the king of oils. And then I'm going to add three drops of tea tree. Tea tree is an antibacterial, antifungal, and so it's definitely beneficial to add into any breathing treatment you are seeking. I worked a moment ago and I added up one, two, and three. Give a good stir, and then we're going to go ahead and pour our mixture into our glass bottles. And we're going to label these. And then we can go ahead and use our breathing treatment. Or our nasal spray. I'll have links for these bottles in the description below. Don't forget to label the bottles. This solution, the, I think these bottles are about two ounces each. So out of that one recipe, you will probably get four bottles. If you find, do a tester one first and break this recipe down into the smallest denominations. And what I'm going to say is do a tester. If the tea tree oil irritates your nasal passages, you can either use a drop or none at all. You can make this solution and not use any of the um, essential oils. You could just use the Himalayan salt and a 
pinch of your baking soda and that would be sufficient it would just be a normal saline nasal rinse so these will get labeled and as my family needs them what I will do is present them to each person on the label there will be space to write their names on them so they will have their own individual nasal spray so these bottles come with extra um, sprayers I'm gonna call them caps they come with extra caps it's two extra cap it comes with the piper and it also comes with the funnel so I would put the link for these down in the description and they come with little labels like so so don't forget to label and date all of your um, remedies and that's a wonky looking label on here don't forget to date all of your labels all of your remedies the date that you manufactured your uh, product so that you'll know just how long or when it when it was created and when it's time for discard this recipe will last you 